BassPlayersOnly.com. Hi everyone, I'm John Liebman. You're watching for BassPlayersOnly.com. Today we are on location at the London Bass Guitar Show with none other than bass legend Lee Rocker. How you doing, Lee? I'm doing great. It's good to see you again. It's been a while. I was just looking at the interview that we did with you on ForBassPlayersOnly.com back in October 2010. Wow. So uh, so I'd like to say what's new, but I'll see if I can get a little more specific than that. We got the whole story of, about your upbringing and the formation of the Stray Cats and your parents and the cello and the clarinets and all of that. All great stuff. It's on the website for BassPlayersOnly.com. Search Lee Rocker and it'll come right up. So let's talk about some other stuff. Sure. What, uh, what is keeping you busy these days? What's going on in your musical life? Yeah, you know, I've been... Uh I've been doing a lot of different things these last since we've talked. It's been a long time, but uh, most recently, I've been working on a uh, on a new record, a new CD for for way too long. This thing has been more than a year in the works, and uh, I'm really happy with the way that it's going, and and determined to finish it up in this year in 2015. And it's a this is a record a little different than uh, things I've done in the past, uh, especially with the Stray Cats and my solo records. I'm gone uh, a lot more acoustic. I'd say it's it's a little it's a rockabilly record for sure, but it, it's a lot more in the Americana vibe. So I've added uh, pedal steel and banjo and sort of reduced the drums uh, in volume and in in what I've got drummers playing. Uh, certain things just have percussion, and it really enables the the upright bass and uh, how I play the upright bass to have a lot more space and room in it. So I've been uh, enjoying that, and hopefully that's going to be finished real soon. That is a very, uh, it's a very special technique. I mentioned to you when we were talking the other day. I, I had the privilege of hanging out with Milt Hinton many years ago, right. and I've seen some other guys with that rockabilly. That well, I wouldn't call Milt Hinton rockabilly, but no. but that you know what I'm talking about. That technique. Were, were you ever inspired to play jazz, to to play you know swing and walking bass lines and? Uh, absolutely. I mean, uh, uh, I probably picked up the upright bass uh, early on. Uh, I was playing electric bass, uh, and I was probably playing a lot, a lot more jazz and kind of studying that, uh, doing things, uh, walking bass lines, and kind of analyzing how to walk through different chords. So, you know, dealing with the, the music theory part of things in terms of scales and arpeggios and really getting a strong knowledge of of what notes are in what chords and how to move move through a chord pattern in a lot of in a, in a lot of different ways. So yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I'm a rock and roll rockabilly bass player, but I definitely have some roots in uh, in jazz playing as well. Yes, and with your uh, your musical heritage and your background and your parents, I'm, I'm sure that a lot of that theory came somewhat naturally. It was in your blood. Your father was what 60 years in the New York Philharmonic. Um, 61 actually from. Uh, when he was 19 years old to uh, till 80, and it's been about five or six years since then, and he is out uh, performing concerts uh, all over the world and uh, uh, doing great. Uh, good for him. Yeah. Uh, what what kind of equipment are you using now? Um, I've been using uh, Ampeg amps for a lot of years, and uh, on the on the bass end, I've got a I got a lot of different basses over the years, but most recently been a. Uh, uh, working with uh, Colstein bases okay. out of New York, Barry Colstein. Uh, they do a great job, and they launched uh, two Lee Rocker model bases that I had input on. Uh, one is a standard three-quarter base, uh, beautiful ones. We call them a tuxedo. They're black with white trim on them. And then a Busetto version, which is a travel size upright base. Uh, it's a great teardrop kind of shape. It's thinner and uh, smaller, um, but it's a full-size instrument and it is acoustic. And uh, the theory behind that is they've built it in a size that uh, in its flight case, the airlines have to take it. So if they're, if they're taking uh, bicycles and golf clubs and surfboards, they've got to take these bases. 
Yeah, well, that, we could get into a whole other discussion. We had a story not too long ago about Christian McBride. They confiscated a bow, and John Patitucci had a problem transporting his base. So there's, there oh, are I've some got, challenges. I, I could write a book about the <laughs> about traveling with the base, but uh, this uh, Colstein Busetto is, is a really good alternative that I that I use quite a bit. Well, very good. Uh, what was the last time you picked up a cello? It's been a couple of years. Yeah. Um, I need to get one. Uh, but, you know, if I'm somewhere and they've got a cello, I'll sit down and I'll take a bow and I'll, I'll play a little bit. Did you yeah. ever fool around with the rockabilly approach to the cello? I haven't, no. Yeah. Maybe, maybe next time. How about electric bass? you ever pick one of those up lately? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I have electric basses and uh, I do play them on occasion. Uh, but really what I do is, is upright. So the, the electrics sort of stay home. If I'm watching TV or something, I'll pick one up and I'll kind of work my way around it. Upright is not quite as conducive to that. No. <laughs> How about uh, the future? I mean, we've, we covered a lot. You talked about the new record and some other things, but uh, what else can we look forward to seeing and hearing from Lee Rocker? Well, um, you know, as I was saying, doing a, doing a lot of different stuff. I'm, I'm always uh, doing concerts. I mean, I'm, I'm really sort of in a, in a great spot where I like to do 40 to 50 concerts a year, and uh, that's what I've been doing it all over the world, really. And uh, I've managed to do it now. I mean, I've been doing this for uh, 35 years or more on the touring end. Uh, I like to just fly in and do dates, so uh, I'm fortunate that I'm, I'm uh, playing enough shows to keep me happy, but I'm not living on a tour bus anymore. So I'll fly in and do dates. And uh, the other thing that's taken up a, a nice amount of time is I've been doing uh, uh, some session work, which I've done over the years, you know, for Carl Perkins and Scotty Moore and... Uh, uh, a lot of different folks, uh, but lately I've been contacted uh, through email through my website, which is uh, leerocker.com, and uh, the email is management at leerocker.com, and my management sends that over, and people have sent in, uh, you know, inquiries to do tracks, and I'll usually write back and and say, let me hear it if it's really something that I that I feel that I, I like and I want to get involved with. So I've been doing those sessions remotely. People send them in and uh, I get to my studio and send them back out. So it's uh, it's cool and it's uh, I've been kind of exposed to a couple of different uh, sessions. Great. Any chance of a Stray Cats reunion? Um, I There is nothing booked now, but I, I certainly wouldn't write it off. Uh, we've managed to do something about every 10 years or so. So uh, we're probably, uh, some, something will probably happen uh, eventually. Probably about due. Uh, yeah. I don't remember if I asked you this last time or not, Lee, but uh, what would you be if you weren't a bass player? And something outside of music. Well, I was going to say guitar player, but um, outside of music, that's a tough one. Um, I don't rightly know. Okay. All right. That's, hey, that's all we need. All right. Okay. Well, it's great catching up with you. Let's not wait so long before we do it again. Thank Lee Rocker, so uh, you can keep uh, think about that Stray Cats reunion. I think you'd get a, a lot of very positive reaction from, from these folks and from, uh, from uh, the, the fans in general. From the London Bass Guitar Show, I'm John Liebman. You're watching 4BassPlayersOnly.com.